my peoples. So, I don't need to make this super long. I probably will, though. But, uh, shit, my returning subscribers, much love to you. New people that's checking it out, shit, hit the sub, sub, keep up with your boy. But this is Sir Chasing Summer. So, he's a TDE affiliate with a, a signee. He's, he's on the roster. He's on TDE. He's one of the unsung brothers. He doesn't get the love that he deserves. He's about to. Shit. Sir Chasing Summer. This is certifying the brother as a new up and coming superstar. This right here, I put him up there with the blacks. Shit. Up there with black, Ari Lennox, people like that. To me, so far, Ari Lennox had the R&B album of the year. Man, this brother, <laughs> he coming. I think, I think he, I think he might have got it. I think he might have got that spot. So, man, the whole album is a vibe. That's the best way I can put it, man. It's a vibe. It's a. I've never been to LA. This make. This made me feel like a, like I've been to L.A., shit, chilling, put my feet up, shit, rolling in my six foot, hey, doing all that shit, all that L.A. shit I've been seeing on TV. Um, this is a beautiful album, a beautiful project. Like, I'm going to go through the songs, but, man, I can't. It's nothing to be too in-depth about the songs. Like, it's... They all have a just a, a laid back chill vibe that it just ah man you gotta just marinate with it man it's it's unskippable there is no skippable tracks uh ah fourteen songs forty six minutes that's the runtime on the project starts with number one hair down featuring Kendrick Lamar good start to the project man solid song. Kendrick give a, um, in his standards, I would say it's like a decent verse, but it's, it's vibe, the vibe of it, man, very West Coast, man, dope song. Number two, John Redcorn. John Redcorn is the side brother on King of the Hill. He is the, the Indian dude that used to be, uh, going to go and mess with, uh, homeboy home wife all the time. So this right here is John Redcorn. He talk about being like the side dude or whatever, man. But it's it's a dope song. Number three, you can't save me. This one has a Miguel kind of feel to it. If Miguel wrote this song, I would not be surprised, man. This hat is bothering the hell out of me. Uh, but the premise is you can't save me from myself or whatever. That's what we kind of talking about on the song or whatever. I got I have to go back on the album and like really in dive deep into the lyrics and stuff, but just just the vibe and stuff. That's what I kind of kind of reviewing and stuff, man. Just number four, La List, LA List, uh, featuring Smino. This one has like Frank Ocean vibes. Smino, I'm I'm not really familiar with him. I heard about it, I heard of him before. I heard the name before, but they verse on here is is straight fire. But I kind of interpret this kind of like a love letter to to like uh to the West or something. To LA, but uh, number five, fire. This is this is sexy song. This is this is one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of those. Yeah, yeah. Get get to the business. Tight tight joints right here. Uh, number six, new sky featuring Kaja, Kaja Bonet. This is one of my favorite joints on the project, man. Like I I love this. Like just the rhythm of it and stuff. Like it is is a very dope song, man. And uh. Like talking about by new sky, I guess like like when you move, you move you when you moving around and stuff like you you go from one place to the next, or you just chilling for some place for a while, and, and the sky will change, like the clouds will move and the weather will change, the climate will change, but it's gonna be different. But you can just chill and be patient. It's gonna be a new sky. Number seven, Lucy's love featuring Lil Wayne. This a vibe, man. I I. I I, I'm a, I'm a way y'all out with vibe, but this song like Lil Wayne, you like, well he gonna he gonna ruin it. He actually did. He brought something positive to the song, like his verse 
the the tone he went in with it like he actually fit this song very well man he brought something to the song the song was very dope man he he did his thing man L L Wayne I hate on him sometimes man I be hard on him pause but uh salute salute brother he, he did his thing number eight that's why I love you featuring Sabrina Sabrina Claudio and this one there's this very dope song I love Sabrina Claudio. And uh, this one right here, it's kind of uh, the reason why I love you. It's is they not in a relationship. Is the reason why I love you is because look, we get together, we have this sexual chemistry, we do our thing, and then we go our separate ways. We not in each other have, we not bothering each other, we not nagging each other. We get together, we do our thing, and we go to our separate ways. But that's why I love you, cause it's simple. I love the joint, man. Like, it's so smooth. And Sabrina, she gets on there. Salute. She kill it. Sir kills it. Dope. Sexual song. <laughs> Number nine, Touchdown. This is the probably the one song that I listened to. And when it first came on, I wasn't like really too crazy about it. But then listening to it, like after getting to it. And I'm and saying not crazy about it. That's just compared to the rest of the album. Like, but... Is a dope song. When you listen to it, it's, it sounds very blackish. Six L A C K, like black from Atlanta. It sounds very much like black. If black had played a hand in this, I wouldn't be surprised or whatever. But it has black's tone. It sounds like black on here. Number ten, wires in the in the way. Very short song. Uh, I kind of felt like a like an interlude, but it's it's beautiful, dark, moody type joint, but with dope. 11 Steel Blue featuring Jill Scott. The queen, the queen, she brings something to the song. Uh, it's a very dope song, man. Laid back, chill, very chill track, man. Like, just, ah, the so melodic. Is it? Jill, I love Jill. I love Jill Scott. But is it did not disappoint. Very lovely. Number 12, Mood feature, featuring Zakari. Probably the youngest sounding song on here. It's a little bop, like, like you can find yourself kind of kind of dancing in this one. Like it's still in, in the, the uh the realm of the album. It doesn't break away. It's not like a like an up tempo uh high BPM track or anything, but it just has a, it's like the most up tempo joint, but it's just something you could Ah, get your little two-step on, on too. But, very dope song. Number 13, The Recipe. I really like this one because the, the jazz in this, man. Like, it got, you just think jazz when you when you hear this. It's so smooth. So smooth, man. Not going to get too in-depth in it. Number 14, L.A. And I already kind of mentioned this point. I kind of uh, bit, my, bit my nose off to spike my face. But, uh, I wrote this to, she got me like loving LA, man. Like, never been there in my life, but it got me loving LA. Like, uh, I want to go to LA. Shit. And I, I did the common review, and I said the way the album should have ended should have been like like long, drawn out. They do that on here. Like, it has a long piano solo, and it just drifts. It drifts off in. in have you feeling good after you listen to the album? Like you just listen to it and got the long piano solo at the end. It's like I just listened to a masterpiece. <laughs> so after I've been gushing over this, I I didn't want to do this. I did not. I just gave common a classic. I, I I was like, man, the way that this made me feel. I had to give Common an album a classic because it, it hit me emotionally. This right here is just no skippable tracks. Every, every song is fire. It's a mood. It you you can just just chill and just this is my kind of music. If you love just that that, that sensual, melodic, uh slow BPM kind of R&B this for you this for me 
I know my brother uh, JJ all day. If you watch this, you are gonna love this album. This right here is fire. I give this a ten out of ten, man. I didn't want to give it a ten out of ten because I would I want to be like, man, that nigga give everything a class. But man, this my. I think this took our our Linux off the number one spot. Our Linux was my favorite album so far this year. This kind of knocked it off. This this hey. But sir, salute my brother. If if you watching this, you that nigga, you that dude, man. Look, you got some good things coming in your future, dog. You star, TDE top, <laughs> whoever. Look, y'all put something behind that brother. Y'all put some videos behind that brother, man. Look, get him some guest spots, man. Put his his music, put it on power. On the soundtrack or something. Look, y'all help this brother out. This brother is a star. That's all I gotta say. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest of the most hated. I let your boy. Peace out.